Hello everybody, Maven here, and I didn't have time for face cam today, so let's just get down to business. We're doing a hammerhead review today. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit late to the party. Everybody else already uploaded their hammerhead reviews earlier today. I meant to upload this yesterday, but I wasn't feeling very good yesterday. So anyways, the hammerhead is good, I'm not gonna lie. And everybody's talking about the hammerhead like it's the greatest machine gun to ever touch this video game. And I don't mean to be the one negative Nancy to bring it down, um, but I'm the type of Destiny YouTuber that doesn't tell you exactly what you want to hear about a weapon or an exotic or a build. I like to speak about things the way I see them and I see the hammerhead as an insanely good machine gun that's worth getting but not the absolute best and there's a couple reasons why. So I spent like 12 hours a couple days ago just farming all day for these god rolls to make this video. So please be sure to hit that like button for my pain and suffering. It would really mean a lot. It was a grueling process. And the god rolls I obtained are Rampage and Onslaught, Rampage and Killing Tally, and Rampage and Surrounded. So taking a look at the possible rolls here to point out any considerations, uh, I don't really think there's anything else I would consider. Like in the first column, some people love destabilizing, but it's really not for me to each their own. Feeding Frenzy's not gonna be the one. If you wanted to do a DPS roll, like target lock and rewind rounds, there's other machine guns that do it better. If you wanted to go with one of these three, I wouldn't do that because the commemoration already does this and does it better. The fact that this machine gun gets rampage in the first column is just crazy because it can get double damage perks. No other machine gun can do that. So this is definitely the perk you're gonna want. So first things first, here is the build I was using in most of the gameplay in the video. Here is my subclass aspects and fragments, and then here is my mod setup just in case you are interested. And this brings us to my first glaring problem with the hammerhead, and as you can see here, I got triple void reserves. The max amount of ammo we can hold with the hammerhead is 430. Now as you know, the most popular void machine gun in the game is the commemoration, and with only two ammo reserves, we can hold 439 ammo. We hold more than the hammerhead with one less reserve mod. As you can see here on light.gg, the hammerhead's inventory stat is 40, which is below average. The highest being the corrective measure at 59, so the inventory leaves a bit to be desired on the hammerhead. Now on a machine gun, we don't want to throw damage out the window by running something like a backup mag. We'd rather run something like major spec because we're doing ad clear. We're going to pull out our machine gun for the majors mainly. So it'd be better if you can have something like a pended mag or extended mag to up that magazine size. The maximum you can get is 75 and extended mag brings you very close. And the killing tally perk, for example, is in my opinion, the best in slot. Just cut into the chase here. I will show the other rolls in the video, but killing tally is just way too good to pass up. 30% increased damage that does doesn't go away after a time limit, it just stays there until you stow or reload the weapon. We want to try to avoid that as much as possible. And that is the reason we are wearing the Actium War Rig, to reload our machine gun automatically so we never have to lose killing tally by reloading manually. And this makes the hammerhead really, really good. This is the best thing you can do if you love the hammerhead. Because with just a 73 round magazine, you really can't take full advantage of killing tally unless you run something like this. But there are other methods on the other characters as well. So on Hunter, I tried out Marksman's Dodge and unfortunately, when you dodge, it does take away your killing tally. But I did try Thread of Ascent on the Strand subclass where you use your grenade ability and you can auto reload your weapon and that does indeed work. You can grapple the floor to auto reload your weapon or just go in for a grapple punch at a target. And another niche thing you could do is use the sealed Ahamkara Grasps. This is a dealing damage with a powered melee attack will reload your equipped weapon and that does indeed work as well and does not remove your killing tally. And on Warlock, there is the Rain of Fire Boots where you can Icarus Dash to reload all of your weapons. And that does indeed work. It does not take away Tally. And then there is also the Transversive Steps where you can sprint for a short amount of time to auto reload your weapons. And that too does work. But I will say that all of these things, including the Actium War Rig, are very niche, except the grapple spam, but everything's very niche if you want to build around the Hammerhead's best role of Rampage Killing Tally because of that mag size limitation. And as you can see here on the commemoration, we got Killing Tally, but we can pair it along with something like Subsistence or Reconstruction so we can get around this ammo mag size limitation. So the weapon is not niche. You can use it on literally any build and it will put in the work. Because at the point you have to manually reload your machine gun, not only does it take years to reload a machine gun, but you lose your killing tally. So that's kind of where the hammerhead suffers and the commemoration shines. 
But now let's finally get onto a damage test because this perk combination is crazy. Typically you just trigger one of these perks in a kill, but two trigger at the same time. And that leads to some pretty crazy damage stacking. So our base damage here starts off at 7,600. After one kill, we get plus 21% damage, two kills, 45% damage, three kills, 73% damage. Then we pick up an orb of power to proc triple void surge on our boots. And we go up to plus 111% damage. Started at 7,600 damage, went up to 16,000. It is insanely strong. So this is a very good machine gun. I'm not gonna lie, like in certain kinds of content, it can really put in the work. And just as a comparison to something, a sunshot does 11,000 damage per shot. Imagine that you had a full auto 450 RPM sunshot and still that's not nearly as strong as the hammerhead. That just goes to show how insanely powerful the hammerhead is with those two perks. And not to mention, we also have the Indomitability Origin trait feeding us grenade or melee energy depending on our subclass as well. So now let's get some other rolls out of the way just as a lawnmower goes on outside my window. Hopefully you guys don't hear that. But let's talk about Onslaught, the one that ramps up your rate of fire as you get final blows. And we'll be running these rolls through the Hydroponics Delta, which is about the equivalent of Legend level content. It's a great place to test endgame weapons. And I know that the Onslaught perk may be appealing to a lot of you guys out there because it's cool, it's fun, having like a 750 RPM hammerhead is really cool to look at, it's just visually appealing. But remember that the hammerhead's ammo economy, its inventory size stat, is not that great. And Onslaught just dumps your ammo a lot quicker. And yes, it does increase your DPS, but so does killing Tally. You gotta remember that. You're gonna get more damage out of each bullet, and it's just gonna make a lot more sense to use that over something like this. Yes, Onslaught's flashy, but it's not the way to go, trust me. And also honorable mentions to this envious Onslaught roll or even envious killing tally. You can get like 160 in the mag, but you gotta kind of work for that. And that's something I'm not really too big a fan of. And then there is Rampage and Surrounded, which is an even bigger damage buff than Killing Tally. Killing Tally is plus 30% damage, Surrounded is 40%, but remember in the final shape, we're gonna have the ability to enhance these weapons. And so Surrounded is gonna give you plus 47% damage on top of the 33% that Rampage gives you. That's gonna be ridiculous. Now, every time I talk about Surrounded in my videos, I always say the same thing. I am not a fan of this person. I do not like this perk. Yes, it is proc sometimes, but you know, in an area like Hydroponics Delta where there's ads literally spawning on platforms above you and behind you, and even in Onslaught sometimes, it's very, very good. But that's not always gonna happen in most activities because you're gonna be charging at these enemies head on. And most of the time they're not gonna be spawning around you, behind you, on top of you, below you to proc surrounded. If you're approaching ads, you won't have surrounded proc. As you mow them down, the ads are just gonna be spawning further and further away from you. And it's just not really gonna work out most of the time. And I'll show you an example of what I mean. In Hydroponics Delta, when the door opens and you go through this hallway, enemies are spawning in the distance. They're spawning in the background, you are charging at them head on from the front and you are mowing them down as you go along. They are not surrounding you. You are not proccing surrounded. You're not getting that damage buff because you are mowing them down and getting them away from you. And it's a machine gun. You're gonna shred them fast. So this is one of the reasons I do not like surrounded as an ad clear perk. It's really niche and really depends on the specific activity you're doing. Like if it's onslaught, it's gonna be good, but everywhere else it's gonna be questionable. So let's just cut it there and go back to the Rampage Killing Tally roll, which I think nobody can really argue that this is the best hammerhead roll. I mean, come on, you get a really, really easy plus 111% damage just by running Void Siphon and Surges, and then the gun just basically does it itself. It's pretty insane. So as the rest of this clip plays out, I'll give my conclusion to the video. So the hammerhead is worth grinding. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying that the ammo stat is pretty bad on it and that it's pretty niche in the type of builds you would use it on. You have to be using it on something that has a capability of cheesing that reload. You don't want to have to ever reload an ad clear machine gun manually. The thing about the commemoration that's so good is that reconstruction reloads itself in the background. The hammerhead, you're not going to have such a luxury, so you have to be able to cheese that reload. 
Now after the demolitionist shadow nerf, there is a good chance the hammerhead replaces my corrective measure for void grenade spam builds, but that is the extent it really goes for me. But in every other situation, I'm gonna use the commemoration every time. And that is basically the TLDR for the video. Again, I apologize for not telling you what you wanna hear about this gun, but I felt like I told you what you had to hear. So either way, I hope it has helped you out in some kind of way. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and a comment because it really helps out the algorithm. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing as I'm on my way to that big 50K by the end of the year and you can help me get there. And thank you so much if you do. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. See you later.